Wow, he blocked that. So now, let me, let me beat him. There we go. I can beat the shit out of people most of the time. It's just that when I'm playing a matchup that I'm not familiar with, I can't do that as easily and I'll run into issues more frequently. But yeah, most of the time I'll be able to do that. Unless I'm playing like really strong players. See that crouching fears? That was amazing. How that work? You win. <laughs> wow. I'm freestyling and so I'm working. <laughs> oh man. The forbidden whiff punish. Yeah, that's a that's a great way to to name it. I can't believe how many chances he had that he didn't didn't take for some reason to kill me. DP. Shouldn't have done that. Doesn't really matter though, he's not gonna tech. Oh! That had not been such a crazy trick. Uh, that, no! It's too high up. <laughs> if that had not been a crazy trade, I could have done CA. I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to commit to. If if that trade, if that had traded normally, uh, I would have gotten a CA that should have comboed into that DP. No, you don't, you don't have to know the formula for the frame Round advantage one. on the parry. What Point. I tried to tell you is the frame advantage on the parry um, uh, is dependent on the move that you parry. And when you parry a move out of the blue, then most of the time you don't know how or if you can punish the move. Come on, he did the delayed one for real? What is this guy doing? Equal minus three or minus four. It could be minus four. <laughs> this guy's gonna get absolutely destroyed. <laughs> I, got, I love that. I gotta love that. No, dude, it's not gonna work again. You had your fun. Fun times are over, though. 
<coughs> had like one moment to shine. But man, he backdashed into the corner <coughs> to do the V skill 2 to corner me. Absolutely amazing. I gotta love that. Wow, Hyperio has that still in work. There we go. I don't. <laughs> Got a crush counter on a V trigger two parry. I don't have a V trigger two parry. That's why you got the crush counter. Why did I think I have V trigger two? Wow, I think this this match cost me so much brain cells. I forgot which V trigger I had. That sweep that I just did was supposed to be a V trigger two. <laughs> it was supposed to be a parry. Let's go, Shin time. Come on. Ah, oh, I'm disappointed. Ah, oh, man. Hit my cr eat my crap. That's what he says. He looks kind of disgusting. Why would I want to eat his crap? Is it divine crap? I shall persevere. I'd say it's not divine crap. It sounds more like bullshit. Thanks, roll back. Style on him. I had it. <laughs> oh man. I gotta say, V Trigger 2 melts Kami's life like instantly. Wow, the lag is really bad. How does he amp air? I didn't know, sh like, Akuma has a short Yukon. How's that fair? The question is, does he work as a software engineer 9 to 5? I mean, probably does. I mean, that would be kind of a waste if he had a different job. If he was a waste man. <laughs> right F has a degree as a software engineer, but is a waste man. <clears throat> has a 9 to 5 job. Now that would be interesting. I had a lot of... I'd have a lot of questions about that. Oh, 
<laughs> you did not expect that throw. <laughs> you can't play Street Fighter forever. Yeah, but with the amount of money that he must be making, he should feel confident that it's going to be lucrative enough for the foreseeable future that it's worth trying. Round one. I mean, he Fight. can do whatever he wants to, so obviously. I just would like to know what his thought process is. At the end of the day, if you know how to write code, you'll, you'll always find a job. Like, I don't see how that's a risk. If anything, like, it's, you're in a unique position as a content creator, especially him, because he's actually really successful as a content creator, to, well, really make a lot of money, if you really want that. But maybe he doesn't want that. He's taking a lot of gambles. See that? That's what I mean. Earlier he did that as well. He just happened to get away with it frequently. He didn't even get it. He's <laughs> like, I'm ready to die. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, wrong combo. That is barely killed, damn. That was just... Oh wow, that was a clutch one. a really dangerous player he likes to get the upper hand just by having crazy reads <clears throat> he's actually gonna <clears throat> get out of the fireball game by jumping in see that classic craven take a risk oh 
Not bad. Of course it's not bad. Final round. Fight. Oh, he did not mean to do that. He's gonna get punished. Likes to force risky play. It's uh, really interesting how he does it. Just addressing the shade. I wanna, I wanna clarify something right there, because it's something I frequently see, especially on my YouTube channel when I upload uh, a clip and I make a remark like that on YouTube. There's always, for some reason, this assumption by the viewer that I'm disrespecting or I have no respect for my opponent, which is absolutely crazy. At the end of the day, any opponent, uh, you should be asking yourself, what is my opponent doing? How can I punish him for what he's doing? And there's always this assumption for some reason when I say, oh, he's doing, this is his play style. This is how he plays that I'm trying to, um, I, I don't respect my opponents or that I think my opponents are worse or that I'm putting myself above them. Like, no, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on and how, how I can overcome that. That's how you, how you play, right? Especially like on YouTube, there's always this comment that says, um, oh, why, why are you not giving him credit? He's a good player. I'm literally giving him credit because I'm giving you my thoughts on what is going on and uh, my, my, my thought process on how I'm, I want to deal with that. I wouldn't do that against a player that is just completely free. Why would I do that? It's not really putting yourself above everyone. It's trying to figure out how to overcome a challenge, right? It's, it's always that. It's like my opponent is giving me a challenge and I need to step it up and like be ready for it and give him a specific response. And it's always like kind of sad when, when I see like YouTube comments that are like, Oh, Jimmy, um, Jimmy is never giving credit to his opponents. It's just complete nonsense. 